Hello guys and welcome back, in today's video, let us learn how to make easy curtains in Blender. Starting with a new Blender file, select all and delete the default objects. Then, we need a base mesh for the curtains, so add a plane. Make it around 1 by 2 meters, or any scale you prefer. Once you're done with that, jump to edit mode and hit subdivide. We can make it on 30 subdivisions or more, however, we will add a subdivision modifier later so keep it low. Now let us rotate it by 90 and move it up over the zero level, we should by now apply scale on the plane. The first thing to add now is the cloth modifier, so go to the modifiers tab and select cloth. The settings can be viewed in the physics area, so switch to it by hitting the icon on the right. Clothes physics, like the other ones, have some default presets that we can use. Of them, the silk one is the closest to curtains, and you can see the values change once you switch to silk. The next step is optional, but for me I like to add some wind near the cloth on the curtains, so let us add a wind force field, and direct it behind this plane. Make the wind strength around 1000, and put the flow value at 3. You can point the cursor at any of those values to read about it if you don't know what it is for. Now if we play the simulation, the plane will fall down, since we don't have a pinpoint. To add one, you can select any part of the plane, and since we have a curtain, it will be the top vertices line, and assign it as a vertex group. So I just added a new group and hit assign while the vertices were selected. After that, we need to go back to the cloth physics, and under the shape sub tab, you can see a field for the pin group, so assign there the group we made. Now if we play the animation again, it will give you something like this, which looks like a piece of cloth but not a curtain vibe. To fix that, let us go back to the first frame to reset the simulation. Then add a cube, scale around the plane and place at the top as shown. What we need now is a constraint between the plane and the cube, so select the plane. Go to the Object Constraint tab, and look for the Copy Scale Transform. Once you add it to the plane, select the cube as a target. If the plane disappears or transforms, that means you need to apply scale on the cube, so do that to fix it. The axis here depends on your work view. For me I'm working on the Y axis, so I will leave it on Y alone. If you're on the X, you can select that. Now we can play the simulation. And while it's running, scale the cube around on the Y axis or the one you chose, to shape this plane as a curtain. Once you're satisfied with the look, you can stop the simulation, then work on the plane, starting with shade smooth the mesh, then we can add to it the subdivision modifier to make it look better. You can add a bit of thickness to it with the solidify modifier that will help you later once you add a translucent material on it. And try to keep the thickness on a small value. You can now make your own curtains and even do animation with them in a couple of minutes. And that's it, like the video if you're still here, and give me any suggestions for future videos, see you guys next time, stay sharp, goodbye.